Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another PS4 video. So there's been major improvements made to the 11.0 PS4 exploit or jailbreak as I think we can safely call it at this point. So all that needs to be done now is for offsets to be updated to 11.0 in order to get things like Gold Hen running on 11.0. We're really close. I mean, by tonight, potentially tomorrow, we could see this. So what I wanted to do in this video is just go over some of the improvements because my last video was the very early stages of the exploit where we just had a script that we had to run in a Linux virtual machine if you didn't already have Linux as your primary operating system. But things have improved massively since then. The flow added support for Windows. He's also added support for other firmwares like 9.03, 9.50, 9.60. I think all firmwares up to 11. So from 9.00 all the way to 11.0. All firmwares in between, I believe, are supported as of now. And we can also run it on Windows. I've also created a tool to allow you to load the exploit on Windows, uh, which should make it more convenient to load. So I've got two versions, an unpacked version and a packed version. The packed version is a standalone executable. So you just need the exe. Uh, I don't know why it's dot dot exe. That should be uh, dot exe, slight typo there. But uh, yeah, so essentially this is a standalone exe that you can run on its own. Or there's the unpacked version, which has the dependency files added as well just in case you run into any antivirus detections with the packed version, you can use the unpacked version instead. But yeah, so anyway, we can run this application and I will give you guys a little demo of how to get things up and running on Windows. So you can download the tool from the link in the video description. And Lightning Mods and Sistro have been very busy as well. So Lightning Mods has just released this Stage 2 POC Payload Loader. This is currently only for 9.00, but it will get support for 11.0, as you can see. We just need the offsets to be ported, and we'll have 11.0 support, so very, very close. Right now, 9.00 is the test bed, because we already have payloads for that firmware, since we already have a previous jailbreak for that firmware. So there's all the development, all the payloads are already built. So it's good to test this exploit on 9.00 and once it's fully working, which it is as of now, it can then be ported to 11.0, which is the next stage. So what, Lightning, so what Lightning Mods has released is the stage two loader. So the way that this works right now is that there's a modified stage two payload that Lightning Mods has created, which will allow you to load uh, the payloads, the normal payloads like Gold Hen, FTP, you know, disable updates, whatever payload you want to run, it will load those payloads off the root of a USB drive. Now, yes, I know what a lot of people are going to be thinking. Oh God, we're back to USB drives again, just like 9.00. Well, this might only be temporary. I think the final solution will be to offload these payloads to the internal hard drive, and then you won't have to have a USB plugged in every time you want to load them. It'll just load them from the, the internal drive instead, or potentially another stage two payload that will run some kind of uh, listener which will allow you to inject them over the network so this isn't necessarily going to be the only way that these payloads can be loaded but for now this is the way to do it okay so to load this on a windows machine of course i've got the program up here running what we want to do first of all is get the payload that you want to run so let's say it's gold hen so this will be the same for 11.0 once 11.0 gets support so you'll get your your payload your gold hen payload for the firmware that you're on so I've got the official Gold Hen payload for Gold Hen 2.4 B16. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy that to the root of a USB drive that's formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. So we're going to go in there and copy our Gold Hen payload into the root of this USB. Again, any other payload that you want to run. And then we're going to rename it to payload.bin. So it's just called payload.bin. And then we're going to eject that USB drive and plug it in to our PS4. Okay, so to set things up on the PS4, you need to connect an Ethernet cable between your computer and your PS4. So you plug one end of the Ethernet cable into your computer, the other end into the PS4. There's no way around this right now. I mean, support for Wi-Fi might come at some point. Some people might have had success with Wi-Fi, but it's not officially supported. And then also, you know, maybe Raspberry Pis or ESP chips for some kind of final solution. But for now, Anyway, you just need to connect an Ethernet cable up between your computer and your PS4. So then we're going to go into the settings. We're going to go to our network settings, set up an internet connection using a LAN cable. We're going to do a custom setup. And then from here, I don't know why this takes so long. There we go. So now we go to PPPoE, select that option, enter a random PPPoE user ID and password, and then click next. 
and then just do automatic for everything else and do not use proxy and then you can test your internet connection so at this point and you don't have to do it here you can also back out and just test internet connection here in the network settings okay so at this point all we need to do is copy our stage2.bin file into our payload file path uh, which is our loader lightning mods loader to load the payload from the usb drive we're going to select our network adapter which in my case is my ethernet adapter in most cases it will be the ethernet adapter and it will probably be automatically selected and then we want to select our firmware version which in my case is 9.00 again i'm sure 11.0 will be supported very soon so i'll probably leave a pinned comment to let you guys know once it supports 11.0 so you can test it on that firmware too but for now anyway we've got 9.00 so all we're going to do is click the button to run the exploit and it says loading and at this point we can then test the internet connection on our ps4 and that will trigger the exploit to load and then a few seconds later you should start seeing a bunch of text appearing which shows that it is loading the exploit and now you just need to wait to see if it's going to run successfully or not so it looks like we're stuck on cpu 0 93 percent nope we're good Scanning for corrupted object. There we go. If it gets stuck on one of these scanning for corrupted objects, that's usually a good sign. Normally means it is working. So let's go ahead and wait. And there we go. We've got sending payload. And there it is. Payload injected successfully. Switch back over to the console here. Gold Hen 2.4 B16 2 is loaded. And there we go. The loader is working. We now have Gold Hen running on our PS4 on 9.00 without using the traditional 9.00 jailbreak with the USB. Although, ironically, it still requires a USB right now. Now, one interesting thing to mention here is that there does appear to be some people who are really struggling to get consistency with this exploit. You can see here, I just ran it first time. And that is not me, you know, hiding my failed attempts by cutting it out of the video. No, this is like legitimately my first time running it and it just worked first time. It doesn't always work first time for me, usually two or three attempts, maybe four or five tops, but it will run. The problem is that there are some people who are really struggling to get it loaded. In fact, I think Nano Speed Gamer is one of them. He told me he tried 30 attempts and only one of them was successful. So it's really strange that certain people are having like a really hard time loading the exploit and other people are having no problems whatsoever where it just takes a few attempts. So yeah, I guess that still needs to be figured out on why exactly that's happening because it's it re it's really such a big difference between, uh, you know, certain people having 30 plus attempts just to get it loaded once and then other people like me who's able to run it in just one or two attempts, uh, which is very strange. But uh, yeah, anyway, that'll need to be figured out at some point. So, you know, you might end up being one of those unlucky people where it takes a really long time to get it loaded. But yeah, so that's essentially the exploit as it stands right now. All that needs to be done, like I say, is we need things to be ported over to 11.0. So Gold Hen needs to be updated to 11.0. I'm sure Sistro is hard at work doing that. You've also got Lightning Mods who just needs to port his loader over to 11.0, update some of the offsets, and it should be good to go. Um, it might already be done by the time this video goes out. So uh, yeah, that's all that really needs to be done. And then we'll have Gold Hen and other payloads running on 11.0. So that is the progress that's been made so far. I'll leave a link to this tool down in the video description. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.